What's going on everybody? Beautiful uh, Sunday Memorial weekend here. It's been a few weeks since we've updated a video or the channel. But we're getting ready to uh, get the car tuned. I just pulled her out of storage. And uh, this hose back here that goes to the IAC. This one that comes right off the throttle body. This guy. Got a small leak in him. So uh, I don't know if you guys can see, see that dripping as I play with it. So I got a replica or uh, just a spare, the exact same layout of that one in the basement on a spare head that I got. So we're going to get that swapped over and we are ready to head to the dyno. Um, small update on blue. Uh, you see there's a new timing belt there. Uh, I did actually try to make it to the dyno a few weeks ago or like about a week ago. And the old timing belt, I'll show you that in a second, gave out on me. And um, I put the new one on, and I haven't done a compression test since, but I did try and fire it up, and she does run. Um, so that's just a small update on her. Timing belt's right here. You can just see those teeth got, like, just stripped out of there. I don't know why. Belt may, might have been loose, but that is an eBay Chinese belt. So... Also, I did get an exhaust, a Pexi WS2 for the blue car. I think it's going to sound awesome, but uh, the blue car is going to be sitting here for about another week or two, uh, just because I'm getting focused on the, the race car now. I'm actually going to probably be loading up the slicks too, because my tuner mounts tires. So hopefully I'll finally have these on the 24 and a half inch tires that they go belong to. So I'm going to change this line out, guys, and we'll go from there. Uh, I'll probably make a small clip before we leave it at the dyno, and then I'll make a clip when we get there. So stay tuned, guys. Finally getting, uh, finally getting on the rollers. And there you guys go. Could, uh... Kind of see this had a small crack right here on the bottom half of it. Right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's where she was leaking out of. And uh, like I said, I got a loop of it. Same exact hose, pretty much. Off of a spare motor that I had, square head. So this one's in a lot better condition. The rubber is squishy and uh, good to go. So we're gonna toss this back on, get her filled up with some fluid and be on our way. All right, so we just started her back up. A little damp back there, but you can see no leak. Oh, look at that. It have no GPS. It's still running crispy. Didn't even throw a check engine light, I don't think. No. I uh, went ahead and moved the vacuum or the boost gauge over here. For now, uh, I do still have that radio mount. I believe it's actually in the glove box. Yeah, it's in the glove box. But I gotta take this whole outer plastic piece off to get that screwed into there. So for now, that and that is gonna work. It's better than that dual pod hanging. Uh, just letting her warm up and burp herself. That's leak a lot of cooling out. Overflow is empty. up a bit um, just gotta load up the laptop and we're gonna be on our way off to make 600 horsepower it's the plan it's the plan Stan so I'll check you back in with you guys once you roll up at the tuner got a strap down wow it took long to, to register right there got the boost by gear set up got the three port installed vacuum lines running the wastegate. Uh, what else do we do? Got the uh, line running into the ECU. We had to pin to A11 and A25. Got my man Andy going through some boost by gear settings. Just gonna try and start doing some tugs and not trip over the air hose to the brake. So. What's your stock gate pressure? 
Stock gate pressure was like seven pounds. figured out, see what percentage works for us on the solenoid. That core, man. The depth beat. give it a te uh, another 10%. Yeah, exactly. I want to see, am I going to get more or less? I hope I actually get less. That's really what I'm going for. Then that means if oh, less, I go up and hurts, I'm going to get less, less of a up. gap, yeah, less of a change. Like, I kind of did the backwards thing. With the so other. now you want to see like two pounds instead of four. I'm hoping, yes. for the freeport so I think I'm 12 pounds or whatever it made like 400 so we're just gonna tune it up and get it more make it more power at the pound is at and then we're gonna start cranking the boost now that we got the freeport figured out so I have to turn it back on get some heat in there and start uh, tuning her up 
had the bourbon quick bubble. From when I changed the whole jelly, there was still air bubble in the cooling system. But now we're good to go. You see, you see how it idles a little. Uh, yeah. Picked up, 20, picked up 20 horse, it didn't blow up at all. It's not gonna blow up, bro. It's Caneville. What are you talking about? Nah, it's talking about I could just vlog off your phone. You can send me the footage. Maybe. Pulls the timing out of it. Let's see if she makes a better number. Last time on 20 pounds, it made 450. Adjust this in fuel, play with some timing, trying to figure her out. Almost the same as it was with the two degrees more. What kind of boost were we running? 17. 17 pounds. Got to check engine light? Oh, I do. Probably hot. Yeah. Pretty damn hot. So hot are you? Pull again. Pull again? Yeah, you're pushing your foot. You gotta be, you gotta have a head catch to move. Yeah, rock hard and it ain't cycling. I don't know where you're, I don't know if the head's lifting during the pull. I don't know what the deal is, but it's definitely pushing forward. Other yeah. than that, it's doing everything it's supposed to do. up another 10. What's up? Yeah. And we gave it full again. No. How many pounds of boost is that? I'm curious. Like 19.2? 19. Like 19.2 before the top. Really quick, uh, it's a couple days later in the vlog. Uh, I believe we got the car dying out Sunday, the day before Memorial Day. Today is Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day. Um, 
we had some head lift issues again at 20 pounds of boost um, these head studs were brand new and after we had the original head lift issues I never went and retorqued the head uh, when I put it back on after I started it one day I'll put it through its heat cycle so today we're gonna try before we end this vlog off we're gonna try and get this head torqued down we're so uh, at storage right now picking the car up we're gonna go take it back to the shop and we're gonna get the head torqued down to hopefully I'm thinking around 82 foot pounds we're gonna see what it's torqued to now I want to say I torqued it to like 76 so hopefully that extra six to eight foot pounds of torque will do its justice so we're gonna do a quick cold start here and then we'll catch back up at the shop guys so we just got back to the shop like I said we're gonna uh, pretty much try and uh, see if we can just torque the head studs down a little tighter and hopefully the head won't lift under higher boost uh, I just want to go over a couple things like I said uh, I think the last number that we posted on the dyno was like close to 470 at 19 pounds um, it's a little low and like I said I'm probably losing a little power with the head lifting and boosting the, the coolant uh, so uh, air fuels also weren't dialed in so the car wasn't exactly at the right power level that she should have been but hopefully when we torque these studs down we can do a couple rips get the coolant blood again and see if this overflow will keep filling on the higher duty cycle of boost so we got a couple things to do we'll get those done and we'll go from there so stay tuned you guys gotta check this out so got the valve cover off all that uh, i got the motor at tdc getting ready to take the lower cover off the dampener off and i look at it i'm like oh i put the the alternator belt on backwards and then i look inside of it and it wore some new teeth i put it so tight savage i got a double-sided alternator belt I always wanted one of those, I swear. But um, uh, got the head off, like I said, TDC. Gonna take this lower timing belt cover off and get the timing belt loose. Um, get these cams out and torque the head down. So we'll go from there. Torque these studs down a little bit. Left the distributor in. Um, got the torque wrench over here by Baloo. Uh, right here. Torque wrench right here. Everything in the head looks pretty good. Nothing looks out of shape or anything like that no uh no unnecessary wear and tear going on at ashi so uh we're gonna get this party going get it torqued down actually i might as well just set up the tripod and just uh film it so see what she's at right now Sure Alright, so I want to say that I left it at 76. 30, 40, 50, 60, 
76. So let's see. Let's see if she holds 76. Then. I'm getting like a slight, like a 16th of a turn. Maybe she did need to be retorqued. I don't know. 76, 80, 82, 282. I'm going to go E4. There it is. 84 foot pounds. Uh, honestly, I kind of feel like I'm still going to have the same issue. It's still going to lift a little bit. Uh, yeah, they turned a little bit, so they might have stretched. But I just feel like I'm going to have the same issue. So after this, if this doesn't work, I'm going to change it. Go to an OEM style GSR head gasket because currently I do use a B16 head gasket on here and I feel like that might also be some of my problem because um, I believe that the water ports on the gasket are different for each head. I know they're different on the heads and I believe they're also different on the gaskets. So I don't know if the B16 one is causing flow issues for the GSR or vice versa but either way that's what I'm going to try and do if this doesn't work. So I'm not going to film me putting it back together because you guys just saw me take it apart. Uh, I'm going to try and get these wheels mounted on after I put this back together. So we'll pick up there. So I'll see you then. Well, she's running again. Everything went good, I guess. Warm up, uh, try and see if she needs to be burped at all, and just have the driver. I'm gonna leave the overflow pretty much empty, and I know on low boost it shouldn't fill up, so I'll do a couple low boost pulls like it is now. Uh, also, I'm gonna have to bring the laptop with me to do some logs just to see what kind of heat she's got. Um, I think this weekend I'm gonna do an oil change on her. Whether we make it back to the dyno or not, um, definitely needs uh, an oil change. Like I said, getting a lot of E85 in the gas with it being so rich. And I'm probably going to have to empty the catch can, see what's going on in there. Probably a lot of condensation. And other than that, uh, before I end the vlog, I'll do a couple poles or something in the car to uh, see if the problem's fixed. But. 
appreciate everybody watching. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Guys, so we're in the car. Uh, did a couple of test hits, wasn't able to record them, but uh, the head's still lifting. So I'm gonna have to take this Velpro gasket out. Throw an OEM GSI head gasket in there. Go from there, see if that helps. Uh, I'm just cruising the car back to storage now. I did test fit the slicks. I forgot to record it though, but I did take some pics, so I'll throw those in at the end of the vlog. Uh, if I'm able to get a small pull in on the throughway, I'll throw that clip in too. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully, we'll get somewhere with the blue car, and I'll keep you guys updated on that.